Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sachin Malayala. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss about SSN Management Quota exam. So usually, like this particular Management Quota exam is only for Chennai campus. I mean Tamil Nadu campus, not for the SNU Noida. SNU Noida is the Shivana the University Noida, and this is called Shiva Subramanian Nadar. So SSN entrance exam for Management Quota, and followed by those who score well in this particular entrance exam, they are allowed to sit in interview. So once they feel like you are eligible candidate, they will uh, issue you the admission. So this is how the process is. So now many people are asking me regarding how the exam process is going to be, how everything. So guys, uh, I think most of you already applied this particular uh, SSN entrance exam. So those who are applied this, this deadline is already completed on 30th June. And exam is on 7th July, that is on Tuesday. And one more is on 10th July. So you need to book the slots, morning slot and afternoon slot. And also on 10th morning slot and afternoon slot. I think uh, most of you already know what exactly slot because during the application formally they asked for you to fill the, all those things. Those who people help me for collecting all these data. So because this particular data is not available on internet freely like all other exams. So I, I like researched a lot as many students who applied this particular exam. So they have form forwarded all the details to me. So thank you. Thank you everyone. If you see this particular mail, they have sent you an OTP. So as I have learned it. So in this particular OTP, you have to use this particular OTP that is valid for only seven days. What you have to do is there are two links here. So first link will be click on the uh, link below, enter the OTP and set your password. Just click this link. If you see after clicking the link, so the, you have the OTP, right? Enter that OTP here. Okay. If you enter that OTP and click on submit, so you will be allowed to set your own password for logging into the exam. So once you set that after setting the password, please use the below link to login. So if you use this particular link, so you will be taken here. You can use this link, uh, email ID and password, what you have set and then click on submit. It will be uh, all right. So if you click on forget, so you can uh, give your email ID for recovery. And uh, if you recover, you will get on OTP and you can set your password once again. So this is how the process is. So the setting the password is compulsory. Everyone you should set before the exam itself. So that is about the exam. So if you uh, enter login here, you will be entered into the exam. So this is about how to enter into the code tantra. So there are, they have given the three PDFs which is explaining each and everything about SSN entrance exam. So first let me uh, open the general instructions. So in this particular general instructions, they have mentioned uh, you have to install uh, SEB. So, so usually in other exams, we call it as SEB. Now here it is uh, CA, C, okay. So CA installed. So this uh, this will be installed only on uh, uh, and uh, like laptops and Mac and same like VAT exam. You need to have a third eye for this particular thing. So you need to have at least one mobile and one laptop and one mobile for spare. Like if you have any doubts, you can directly call to the helpline during the exam. So you are not allowed to come out of the exam or, or uh, go out of the frame of the uh, primary device and secondary device. If you do so, you will be eliminated from the exam. So if you see, they should use a camera enabled. Uh, so you should that, that should have camera. So let me directly move to here. So you can once I will leave all these PDF links in the description. You can once go through in detail. So they have mentioned that you have to sit in a closed room, or sit opposite to the light. You should be visible in the camera. How you have to set your camera so that everything is visible. You, you should not use calculator. You can use rough papers. But you should show to the rough paper to the proctor before the start of exam only so that nothing is on there on the rough papers. So all these things, if you can also use mask, but whenever asked, you have to open that mask and you have to show to the proctor. So they have, they have given you all the guidelines here. So once please go through the PDF, the links of these PDFs in the description. Coming to main important point, you should log in before 45 minutes of the exam only. So there are many people, if their exam is on uh, two days after two days, they will try to log in now and they, it will show invalid. Of course it will show invalid and they will say it is showing invalid. Please help me. Uh, exam is tomorrow. So how come they will allow you to log in before the exam time? So please understand it's a common sense actually. So don't worry if you can't log in, just try try for at least 30 minutes or 45 minutes before the exam, then you will be able to log in. And the total duration of the exam is 115 minutes in which uh, 40 minutes will be part A, 25 questions will be there. This is totally aptitude. So regarding aptitude, you can go through this India Bix uh, website. So India Bix, I-N-D-I-A, B-I-X. In this particular website, you will easily find the many of the aptitudes and this particular website is also used for many of our uh, many of the placement uh, interviews and placement uh, uh, online tests also this India Bix website is one of the good website which you can where you can get all the aptitude related questions and you can solve those and uh, coming to subject part B so it will be core subjects like PCM this will be 75 minutes so after 40 minutes 
party will be disabled even though if you submit or not party you will not see after 40 minutes of the exam so within 40 minutes only you should answer those 25 questions in party that is aptitude questions so exactly after 40 minutes you will be having another 65 minutes of part b so directly part a will be closed part b will be started exactly after 40 minutes of the exam and there is a negative marking in the exam plus four for each and every correct answer minus one for each and every wrong answer so now morning test is 10 to 12 and afternoon test is 2 30 to 4 30 two hours of exam in which 115 is exam minutes and five minutes maybe something like that and uh, students should log in 45 minutes and they can contact for so the following activities are not permitted. presence of you should not have any person in the room and the students should take only students should be taking the test and movement should not moving here and there physical calculators are not allowed you can use the calculator provided in the portal rough papers is allowed uh, is inspection by the online proctor so they should check that so please note down this technical help line numbers down so you should keep another mobile with you so that whenever you have any help you should call from that mobile to directly to the helpline and they will sort out the uh, problem and this is about the test environment so please uh, uh, just go through the, all these uh, things just so total 18 uh, rules have given to you so we have to go through all those rules student manual in this uh, they have said open test uh, plus third day you will be having a laptop exam where you have to write and third eye which will be proctoring you which is human proctor a proctor will be there in your laptop so whenever you move whenever you go out of the frame it will give you the uh, like warning sign and whenever there is a sound in the room there it will give the warning sign everything will be done from there and mobile uh, i mean in from mobile the teachers i mean uh, invigilators will be watching you so you should place the mobile such a way that your hands and laptop should be visible and you also should be visible. So I will, so these are the operating system for laptop or desktop and for mobile Android, iOS, Chrome should be there or Edge or Safari, anything. And Code Tantra application and browsers updated. So these are the about browsers and login through laptop. First you have to login, open that particular link, email ID and password as you know, click on submit. So after you submit, go to the tests. After test, you can say it's like third day based test, right? So click that open test so if you open test uh, open code tantra sca it will be there you have to installing like uh, that particular uh, like app will be opened so now if you see this is a, about now the test will be loaded into the installed code tantra sca application in full screen mode so you can't uh, uh, shift the tabs also and then what happens is after uh, clicking there click on open test so if you open test now we have to do is like it will check the environment test like uh, disturbances it will ask you to say hi hello so i think those who are already well versed with code tantra you know all these things environment check will be there so after they are, everything is okay then you should click on proceed test and once you proceed test you have to like uh, raising emergency help if you have any help here please provide your contact number something like if you want to request help you can click on request help here right side hand hand raise button is there right if you provide there, if you submit, they will contact you back and uh, you can also contact through the helpline with the mo another mobile which you have. So now you have to connect through the third eye. What you have to do? Open your mobile. So go to the Chrome and use the link. Okay. So the Chrome version should be version 80 plus, Edge version should be 45 plus, Safari version should be 13 plus for iOS, IP, Apple and uh, use that link. So visit the following link. Uh, once you lose this again, you will ask for email ID and password. You have to enter that and click on submit. After that, once again, you have to go to the tests. Then what happens, like uh, you will be having a third day. Click on that and uh, allow. You should click on allow. If you allow that, so your camera, that, that particular camera will be coming into uh, action and uh, it will show it to you and please keep your mobile into reading or like auto, auto rated and uh, do not disturb mode. So these are compulsory and you should, you should place such a way that your hands and the laptop and you should visible in the screen. You can see here, right? So this is how you need to adjust that keep the circuit like take take a support of any object or if you have stand you can use that such a way that you should keep auto rotation on and uh, do not disturb no messages should be coming if there is a message they will again there is a chance of blocking your exam and uh, so this is how you should look in the third day i mean in the mobile so you should keep the water bottle with you also like uh, you should not uh, you should use washroom before uh, entering into the exam you are not allowed to go to washroom or you are not allowed to, to drink water so if you sit for the exam two hours decide that two hours you should not get, uh, like come out of that place so that is what they have said and uh, let's move to the backup test like after setting all this from mobile now move back to the laptop or desktop so they will they, they you will be having called start test now so click on start test now coming to do's and don'ts so this is the login page and uh, soon they are going to give you the link for the exam app in which you want to you should log in so you should install that exam app in your laptop or desktop 
and uh, a video regarding how the whole process will be coming soon so they will also explain in a whole process and after logging in select your test you want to attempt so as i already show, shown you at first select third eye once then no you can start your exam third eye you should connect with your mobile and then you can uh, proceed with for, uh, with the exam so if you have not downloaded app download now selecting appropriate os or once you log in also you will be having an option like take test right whenever you wanted to take test so there will be option called download the app so if you do not download also from there also you can download no issues at all okay and uh, after submitting your test you can wait for proctor's permission to log out so if you want to come out of the exam ask your proctor whether you can leave or not then only you can come out so these are devices technical re requirements so you can use this and uh, disabling or uninstalling antivirus mandatory a student should ensure that any kind of antivirus that is installed on laptop or should be uninstalled like you many people will be having uh, antivirus like mac fa and uh, antivirus software right you should uninstall them you should disable them ssn or core tandra is not responsible for any network or camera microphone protection feature of antivirus causes an interruption for the student during like last time many students said that so camera is not enabled it is showing like uh, disabled dot js something like that so you have to uninstall this uh, particular uninstall or disable for the uh, this particular antivirus app so that it will be enabled and uh, Secondly, it requires Android with front-facing camera is mandatory. iOS also front camera is mandatory. Regarding network, 256 kbps is required, and these are about all these things, technical things. And part A is 40 minutes, part B is 75 minutes, and this is about uh, don'ts. You can see once. So proctors will be will do only invisibilization and will not clarify doubts in the question paper. Okay. Chalo then. So this is about the exam. Stay confident while you are giving interview. And regarding uh, aptitude test, I said India Wix. And uh, regarding core subjects, you already know PCM. So that you can rock. So that's it. If you find this as a time worthy video, please do like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Jai Hind.